All right, Shalom. First off, I want to give all praises, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahasim, Yahweh Shah. Double honors to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. And this is Shir Shalom to all the Akim out here that's doing and, push, and pushing the work in truth and in sincerity. Okay, I want to go on this uh, topic of uh, the word can either make you sharper and give you discernment. Or it can cut you. Okay. Um, the Bible is supposed to. Allow you to. Understand. What people. Intentions. Really are. Okay. Like for example. You, you find out. Whether a person is really a, a good brother. Okay. Through the scriptures. It gives you the wisdom. Okay. It gives you that understanding. Okay. Um, you find out if a woman is a is a good uh woman, okay, uh through the scriptures, and if they actually are following what the Bible actually say, okay, um you find out who is simple, okay, who who wants to be seen all throughout the scriptures. The scriptures is, is what makes a person more wise, okay? And it also figures people out, okay, and, and lets you know what those people's true intentions are, okay. So with that said, I want to start off with this scripture, Hebrews 4 and 12. For the word of the Most High is quick and powerful and sharper than any two-edged sword, okay, which the word quick is, is live, okay. This word is it's a living book. Okay, it's not the book of the dead. Okay, this word is still alive to, to this day. Okay, you have people that sit up there and say, oh, the times have changed. You know that, well, when you look at the scriptures and you judge according to what the scriptures say, you know that those people who say times have changed, they don't obviously believe in what the Bible says. Okay, because the Bible is still alive. Okay, even to this day. Okay. Uh, it's still speaking to this day, I should say. Um, and it's going to keep on speaking until the end. Okay? From the from the time it was, you know, from the very beginning on to the end. Okay? It says sharper than any two-edged sword. So, a two-edged sword can either cut you or it's going to make you sharper. Okay? It says piercing even to the divining asunder of soul and spirit and of the joints and marrow and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Okay, with the word heart in the Hebrew is la'ab. Okay, and um, it the the word uh discerner, which that's a good word to go into. Okay, it says relating to judging, fit for judging, skilled in judging. Okay, so we know according to the word, the the thoughts that a person may have and their intentions. Okay, so uh, you know you have a lot of women who who are simple, and they don't understand whether a man is trying to just get at them for for uh, sexual purposes or uh, what what their true intentions are. For example. And the reason why a lot of these girls be, or women be getting uh, messed over, you know, is because they don't they don't uh, understand the word, okay? And then they go into these uh, churches and they put their money into these pots to these um, pastors and priests, okay, who who aren't uh, teaching the word in in truth and sincerity, man, okay? But these women. And though they're simple-minded, they don't understand the true intentions of a person because they're not sharp, okay? And then some people sit up there and say, uh, when it comes down to, to, to how do you find out the true intentions of somebody, they sit up there and they say time is, is one of the main things, okay? Well, that's true, okay? But why waste your time when you can understand off top through the scriptures what a person's true intentions are, okay? And then on another note, you have some Israelites out here, okay? If if you wanna if you wanna if you want a decent man, you know, in this society, 
chances are he's going to be an Israelite. But on a deeper level, that man has to you you have he has to be under the right doctrine and in the right spirit. Okay, and and that's not just talking about you know as far as relationships or you know I'm just using that as an example when it comes down to to friends or brotherhood. You know, if you want to know if a person is a real true brother. You got to know through the scriptures what the scriptures say. So you have to be spiritual in order to know that the word is going to make uh, it, it, it determines. OK, when when a situation is present. Whether somebody is uh, is is down for this truth sincerely or whether they're not. OK, and that's how you find a good uh, brother. That's how you find a good uh, uh, mate through the word. OK, that's how you find a good uh, um uh, whether somebody is really uh, into this word, okay, uh, whether it's a teacher or whatever the case may be, through discernment, okay, uh, which is, you know, rightfully dividing the word of, of truth. That's what you have to do in this this uh, this uh, this Bible or in this truth. You have to study it so that you are approved, okay? <clears throat> so this is 1 Corinthians 14 and 24. It says, but if all prophesy... And there come in one that believes not, or one unlearned, right? This person, they don't, you don't know what, what shape they're coming in, okay? It says, he is convinced of all, he is judged of all. So all of the brothers that are in the camp that, you know, have their, their sword sharpened, okay? You're supposed to have that discernment to find out whether this person that, that, that comes up, <clears throat> And doesn't believe in his word or, or is unlearned in the word. You know, you're supposed to be trying to find out what this person's true intentions are. Okay? If 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 this person is is really down for the cause, okay, or or or, or you know, do you do you have to cut this person and send them along their way through the scriptures? Okay? So so that person that comes up, if if you prophesy. That person that comes up that doesn't believe in the word or is unlearned, okay? Brothers have, you know, the opportunity to, to, to uh, you know, make a, a, a point or bring out a precept or something like that, you know, all in order, okay? But when it comes down to what that man is saying, that man, the words that he say, you have to be able to be a righteous judge in what he says. It says, and thus are the secrets of his heart made manifest right now going to this word manifest strong's g 5318 fine ras fine ras fine ras okay it says uh apparent manifest evident known to be plain plainly recognized or known okay so when this person that is that is uh uh unbelearn I mean uh, un uh believing person or unlearned person comes up, it don't take long for you to find out whether this person is is uh um you know sharp in the word or if they are just straight up uh, lost. You know, of course, sometimes you can sit up there and say, I don't think you're gonna get it. You know, by the way that they speak. You know, if they bucking up, but then sometimes. You know, if you, you stay in there or that person, um, uh, <clears throat> may, it may be a debate or something like that, you know, and the person may be uh, uh, going at it, you know, uh, saying this, to, that or whatever. But then over time, the Lord can put the spirit on them to, to, to get it, you know, because everything is spiritual at the end of the day. OK, you, you might have some people that might say, yeah, everything that you say is the truth. OK. But then when it comes down to actually doing what the words say, they ain't going to do it, okay? But the, the, the fact of the matter is that when it comes down to a person that comes up, okay, whether they debate or whether they just taking it all in, okay, you, you're supposed to know through the scriptures, you know, what type of mindset this person has. So if a person comes up and they say, oh, I want to go to college or, you know, you know that that's that's a secret, man. This person is trying to make it in their society, you know. So chances are that that man ain't 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 uh going to be doing what the scriptures say, you know. Not to say that a person can't um can't uh 
try to, you know, uh, if they if they need to work or something like that. <coughs> but we're not in the time of going to, 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 to college and shit, man. You know, that's not that's not the mindset that a man of the Lord is going to be in. You know, uh, it says, and so falling down on his face, he will worship God and report that God is is in you of a truth. OK, so so going out there and prophesying and teaching his word. OK, to the to the unbelievers, the ones that are unlearned. And we we sit up here and we we, we go through the motions with teaching his word. And then somebody comes up, you know, our hope is that they will come into the truth. OK. And, and 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 repent and change their ways. Okay? And then when you when they come into it, you know, we, we continue to make them sharper. Okay? And that's that's one of the things that we're supposed to do. So Jeremiah 17 and 10, I the Lord, Yahweh Basmi Awashah, search the heart with what well, yeah, your heart is your mind according to the scriptures. I tried the reins even to give every man according to his ways. And according to the fruit of his doings, okay? So the Lord is the one who actually searches the heart and makes it manifest, okay? Through, you know, how he does that through the scriptures, okay? This is 2 Timothy, I mean, 2 Corinthians 10 and 4. For the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but mighty through, how about Simeon Osah, to the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imaginations, okay? Because you got people who imagine, oh, I got to, you know, go get a bigger car, you know, instead of, you know, just getting something that's going to be able to, to uh, you know, get you through the uh, day, you know, uh, through, through, you know, basically, you know, that daily bread, man, you know, godliness with, with contentment, I should say. It says, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of Yahweh by Simeon Shah. okay, so through the word, we're casting down imaginations, okay, and, and everything that exalts itself against the Lord, okay? The people who have these crazy intentions, okay, of what they actually want to do. That doesn't uh, equal up to what the scriptures say. It says, and bringing into captivity every thought to the obedience of Yahweh Shah, okay? So going to this word obedience, okay? Strong's G, 5218. Upaka A. Upaka A. Okay, and that says, Obedience, compliance, submission. Obedience rendered to anyone's counsels, okay, which is advice, and obedience shown in observing the requirements of Christianity or, you know, uh, what it takes to, to be an Israelite. Okay? So, so our job as men of the Lord Okay, is to, to, to use the word to determine whether somebody is is, is uh, exalting himself against the Lord, okay, and trying to make them sharper and bring them into the to the knowledge of Yahweh Shah. Because when the Lord comes back, man, he's going to destroy a lot of niggas, man. Okay? And a lot of people just want 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 to be opportunists, man. Okay? They see the occasion to, to, to try to come up into this truth and, and uh want to want to you know try to make money or or use the word for 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 uh filthy lucre sake you know as the brother um Karat you know uh said you know the uh, for the brother from the Baltimore camp okay um he he had went into about the 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 word lucre okay filthy lucre okay which I'm going to try to get that through the scriptures okay it says uh filthy lucre And uh, I'm going to pull up the definition for filthy lucre. Okay, it says eagerness, eagerness for base gain. Okay, so you have people who come into this truth for, that are eager to try to try to make a name for themselves or try to make money. Okay, and it for the wrong reasons, basically. So the word is supposed to bring the... the you know, you're supposed to be smart and knowing who, who's really down to y'all by some y'all side and who's not, okay? But I was going into the word opportunist, okay? And this word is not for opportunist, okay? It, uh, opportunist is a person who exploits 
circumstances to gain immediate advantage rather than being guided by constant, I mean, consistent principles or plans, okay? Somebody that isn't down with the program, okay? You got people who come up and they see brothers speaking and they want to come into this thing and they want to, you know, uh, try to make a name for themselves and they want to they uh, get it, you know, get in where they can fit in, try to try to be, um, what's the word, uh, uh, camp leaders and stuff like that off top. Well, the Lord ain't with that, man. Okay? As soon as the opportunity comes, you know, guys want to want to fall in to try to try to make a name for themselves or, or, or exploit the circumstances that whatever the circumstances may be just to try to just to try to uh, get what they can get out of it. You know, this truth ain't for that. OK, that that goes into the parable when when you when you was shy, uh, said it about the, uh, the man who came uh, without the garments, you know. Friend, wherever you come, you you ain't, you ain't even clothed, you know. And that's how how people, you know, nowadays they they go to these cookouts and stuff like that, and they think that they can just walk up in and try to get some free food, you know. That's not how things go, man. You want to you want to you want to come into this this thing. You want to be a part of this thing, okay? Then you gotta you gotta you gotta uh you can't be an opportunist. You gotta actually know what you getting yourself into, and you gotta do what you gotta do, you know. So, uh, this truth is not for opportunists, man, okay? And then when you go into the word, uh, occasion, okay, it says a favorable opportunity or circumstance, okay? And that's one of the reasons why females, uh, get, get fucked over because they, they deal with guys who, who are opportunists, okay, in the world. And, and, and what are these, these guys that, that are opportunists? Niggas that that like to hustle, you know, to 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 uh, try to uh, what's the word um, try to sell drugs and shit, you know, to try to get that quick dollar. This ain't about getting no quick dollar, man. Okay, you gotta count your costs when you are coming through this 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 truth, man. Okay, so with that moving on, okay, this is Second Corinthians eleven and twelve. But what I do, that will I I will do. That I may cut off occasion from them that desire occasion. And when you go into this word occasion, okay. Strong's G, 874. Afarme. Afarme. Okay, it says Afarme. Okay. It says a place from which a movement or attack is made, a base of operations. Metaphor, that by which endeavor is excited and from which it goes forth. That which gives occasion and, and supplies matter for an undertaking, the incentive, the resources we avail ourselves of in attempting or performing anything. Okay? And then you have right here, figuratively, an opportunity, an occasion. Okay? So... The scriptures is saying, you know, that will I will what I do, that will I do, okay, which you know, teach the word that I may cut off occasion those people that are, are trying to be opportunist opportunist, okay, from them which desire opportunity. That wherein they glory, that they may be found even as we. So when somebody comes in and they're they're unlearned, okay. Or believe not, okay, and they may be looking at it as an opportunity to speak or try to sit up there and say, oh, you guys ain't right, you know? Well, what do we do? We sit up there and we teach the word and we try to get them into, uh, we try to convince them, okay, that this is the word. So that they can be a part of the, uh, the salvation also that is about to come. Because nobody is saved. You know, somebody may come up and they say, oh, we're already saved, you know. Well, we sold them how they're not uh, saved, you know. So people seek that opportunity to try to come up and try to, you know, discredit us, okay. And we, you know, they, they, they think that they know something, but we show them that they don't, you know. You know, through the, through the scriptures, what, what else for? It says, for such are false apostles 
the Shifu workers transforming themselves into the apostles of Yahweh Shah. Okay, so we know who the, who those people are. And no marvel for Satan himself is transformed into an angel of light. Therefore, it is no great thing if his ministers also be transformed as the ministers of righteousness. Whose end shall be according to their works. We used to know a man by his works. You know, we're not at Great Millstone. You know, we, we cast the net. And, and yeah, we bring forth, you know, good and bad, as, as the scriptures say. But the, the, the thing is, you know, we, you should know a man by his works. Okay? It says, I say again, let no man think me a fool, if otherwise, yet as a fool receive me, that I may boast myself a little. Right? So if you think, you know, our intentions are, uh, you know, we don't know nothing, you know, hey, try us, man. Okay, that which I speak, I speak it not after the Lord, but as it were foolishly in this confidence of boasting, seeing that many glory after the flesh, I will glory also. You know, so, hey, you got some people that make it seem like, yo, I've been through this and I've been through that. You know, you got brothers that been through this and been through that, man. But that's, that, that don't mean nothing. Okay, it says, for you suffer fools gladly seeing you yourselves are wise for you suffer if a man bring you into bondage if a man devour you if a man take of you if a man exalt himself if a man smite you in the face or on the face okay it says i speak in this concern and reproach as though we had been weak how be it where and so ever any is bold i speak foolishly i am bold also Okay, so so if you think that you are, you a man of the Lord, okay, well, hey, men of the Lord, you know they go through stuff, man. Okay, you you gonna you gonna have to go through 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 the uh, the paths of being under a nigga and stuff like that sometimes, man. Okay, and and we can't glory in our flesh, you know, whether it's in this world or or, or, or in the world, you know, but. Um, I'm going to get two more, uh, I got two more pages. This is Malachi 3 and 16. Then they that feared the Lord spake often one to another, and the Lord hearkened or he, and, and heard it, and a book of remembrance was written before him for them that feared the Lord and that thought upon his name. Okay? So if you want to know the Lord's name or how to, how to serve the Lord, you got to go through the, um, the book of remembrance. Okay, and I'm going to go jump down to the 18th verse. Then shall you return and discern or have righteous judgment between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serves God and him that serves him not. So through the scriptures, you're supposed to be able to rightfully divide. Okay, I'm going to get that. This is 2 Timothy 2 and 15. Study to show thyself approved unto God, Yahweh, a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightfully, rightly dividing the word of truth. Okay? And through the word, you're supposed to know when somebody is a, a, a friend or when somebody is a, a, a nigga. Okay? When somebody is, uh, you know, uh, really down for the cause. Or, or not, okay? But with that, I'm going to get this and I'm going to uh, end it, okay? This is just an example, okay, of through the scriptures of how you know who your real friends are or, or you know, just applying the word, okay? Ecclesiasticus 6 and 7, it says, If thou wit, wouldest get a friend, prove him first and be not hasty to credit him, okay? For some man... Is a friend for his own occasion, okay. Once again, that's going into the word opportunity, okay, for his own circumstances, and will not abide in the day of your trouble. And there is a friend who, being turned to enmity and strife, will discover thy reproach. You know, when they get mad, they let everything that that you uh, ever told them out. You know, they they they, because people are fake, man. You got to know who, who's the real and who's the fake, okay? 
It says, again, some friend is a companion at the table and will not continue in the day of your affliction. When you need them, they're not going to be there. It says, but in, in thy prosperity, he will be as thyself and will be bold over your servants. Right when you when you're doing good, you know if you if you need you know well they'll be there when you don't even need them, man. Trying to do shit when you don't need them. It says if thou be brought low, he will be against you and will hide himself from thy faith face. Right when you need them, they not there. It says separate yourself from your enemies and take heed of your friends. Okay, you have to in this world you're supposed to know who who your friends are. You're supposed to you know keep keep your eyes on them, man. Okay. Because hey, the scriptures say that 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 some people will, will will leave, you know, when you need them. Okay, a faithful friend is a strong defense because you got true brothers out here, and he that has found such and one has found the treasure of a real friend that you know that's going to keep it real. Okay, how how you know who's going to keep it real? They through the scriptures, man. Okay, getting that knowledge, wisdom, and understanding. Nothing does countervail a faithful friend, and his excellency is invaluable. A faithful friend is the medicine of life, and they that fear the Lord shall find him. And how do you know who fears the Lord? By, by, by you know, making it manifest, okay, going out prophesying, okay, teaching ones that, that don't believe or, or unlearned, okay, and trying to convince them into worshiping Yahweh Shem Yahweh okay, the rightful way. Okay, uh, so that's how you find out who, who the real friends are. That's how you find out, you know, a, a, a man or a woman. Okay, um, it says, Whoso feareth the Lord shall direct his friendship aright, for as he is, so shall his neighbor be also. So through the scriptures, you know, we know what, you know, precept upon precept, what discernment really is. Okay. So with that, you know, I want to say salam. Hopefully this was an edifying lesson.